In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create runtime scenes in Landscape Builder. I'm using version 2.01, so if you have a newer release, you might see a few differences. The best way to get started is to use a combination of sample runtime prefabs and a landscape you created in the editor. Using this workflow lets you visualize the scene before you convert it to code. Here I have a fairly basic scene with four terrains, an image modifier layer, some trees, grass and a few rocks and a path. This is a scene we use to create one of our sample runtime prefabs. Let's give it a try. Drag the runtime sample into the scene and disable the other landscape and run the scene. After a few moments you'll see it running but there's a problem, we're missing the topography. So let's just stop that. Let's go back to our original landscape, let's drag it in so we can see it. Go to topography tab and we see we're using an image modifier layer. As this is created directly from a raw image file rather than using Perlin noise, Unity can't load locate the raw file at runtime. To correct this we'll need to put the raw file in a height map folder in the Unity application data folder. In the editor the height maps folder should be created in the project pane. For standalone PC builds it should be added to the project name underscore data folder. Let's just go and create it in the editor. So let's just create a new folder. Let's call it Height maps. Now we need to create a duplicate of the original uh, raw file. So we'll find our copy of that. Let's create a duplicate. We'll copy the duplicate into our height maps folder. And we just need to make sure it has the same name as the original. Now let's try that again. You see it take a little while to start up and locate the file and then it should build our new scene this time with our image modifier. Let's now edit the original landscape. Let's go to our groups tab. Now I've built uh, a little village here, so I'm just going to put it to the top of the list. And this is one I built earlier. So we can see if I go into the group and open the group designer. You can see I have a little uh, village here with a fence around the outside, etc. And we're just going to place that in the scene and then script it out and put it in our, um, in our runtime script. So to begin with, let's just uh, script, re-script the rocks group because that's going to be group two now not group one so let's just click on the little script button let's go over to our console let's just scroll to the end and we'll copy this script that's made for us switch over to visual studio Delete the existing group, paste in our code. Now 
You'll see it's also created as a public variable for us for the prefab. So I'm just going to copy that. Go up to my public variables in my script and just paste it in. Now I just need to unhighlight it. There we go. Okay, let's just go and do the village now. So switching back over, we'll go to, uh, let's just call that, go to our village, script that out. Scroll to the end. Now you see this is quite long and user has actually truncated it in the editor. If this happens to you, you'll need to open the editor log and we can get to that from the uh, top of the console here. We'll say open error log, editor log, and we'll scroll to the end of the editor log and uh, just near the end, we'll say end of segment and we can scroll up again and grab our code. You can see the uh, Landscape Builder saves you an awful lot of scripting uh, by writing the script for you. Okay, so let's again, we'll just copy that bit of code. We'll flip over to Visual Studio, find where we need to slot it in. Here we go, group one just above group two. I'll paste that in. Okay, uh, again, there's our public variables, so let's just copy those, clean up this, we don't need it. Scroll up to our public variable section and paste those in, uncomment them, there we go. So now we can just save our script and flip back over to Unity. So I just expand out the script here. Oops. And you'll see here, down the bottom, we have a bunch of our group variables and we need to populate them. So these are our member prefabs that we have in the group. Now I'm just using some from the Unity Viking Village uh, free sample. So I've got that imported into my project. I'm just going to come down here and sign them. And we'll, we'll just add them in. Okay, so we should now be able to run our scene. Uh, just um, turn off again the existing landscape and run the scene. If you have any questions, you can post them in our Unity forum. Thank you for watching.